Now, will football fans here end up paying more to watch pay TV matches in future? This possibility was raised by Singtel yesterday after the Media Development Authority asked the pay TV operator to share the next three seasons of the Barclays or English Premier League with rival StarHub. So if they introduce, it will be very good. Like, say, for example, I want to watch a menu at just Chelsea. So I might be paying like okay, five dollars or two dollars. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I think it's worth it because if not, you have to subscribe to both both uh, providers, and then you'll be paying double. So long as you don't increase the price by double. Uh. I think at the end of the day, you, you all these are, you know, uh, push to the consumer. I think it's not right. Singtel has said it's appealing the decision, saying the cross-carriage rules could give industry players no reason to secure sought-after content. For instance, first movers will have no incentive to get broadcast rights for events such as the World Cup or European Football Championships. And one analyst we spoke to agrees. In the long run, Singtel or uh, StarHub, if they both know that they will have to share whatever the exclusive contents earlier used to be exclusive content, then there might, might be a situation in future where none of them actually want to bid a bit higher and they don't want and they might lose out on, users might lose out on all the content possible.